Test Drive Unlimited 3 has been in development for a while now. Since its announcement back in 2018, the developers have remained silent until now. Jungle. Earlier today, TDU3 developer Nakon revealed a teaser for their Nakon Connect event. Within the teaser we get a split second clip of a car door opening and a foot humming out, with a silhouette of another car in the distance. After looking at this very short clip, I think the car in the distance is a Coins Egregera, and the car that the person is getting out of is some form of Lamborghini. Maybe it's the new Cyan. The reception of the teaser is so far very positive. After reading some tweets and comments on their YouTube channel, the hype belongs to Test Drive Unlimited 3, and rightfully so. Best of all, this event will be taking place next week, so you can expect a trailer or at least some more information on TDU3 with a rumoured title that is Test Drive Solar Crown, next Tuesday at 7pm CEST. In case you didn't know, Nacon developed the official WRC series, which was a license they recently lost the Codemasters. The well received franchise obviously means that Nacon have plenty of experience in making racing games, and it shows that by dropping the WRC license, they mean that they are willing to go all the way for this new game, which they have said is their biggest project yet. Death Star Unlimited 2 was a very ambitious game and it was way ahead of its time. Although it wasn't perfect, it still had a massive following behind it. Hell, last year a group of very dedicated TDU fans created a platinum edition of Test Drive Unlimited 1, which added an extra 700 cars and a few changes made to the graphics and other small things. As for Test Drive Unlimited 2, some of the bugs which weren't fixed being games were fixed by a group of dedicated fans who created the unofficial patch, which also added in some new cars as well. There is also the Auto Pack which adds another 100 cars to Test Drive Unlimited 2 as well. These are two mods I would recommend getting if you have TDU2 on the PC. Personally, TDU2 was a game which annoyed me as much as it entertained me. I didn't like the game and I just felt like it needed a bit more time in development. Despite this, the game was remembered for having two massive maps, which were scale replicas of Hawaii and Ibiza, as well as the ability to purchase properties and gamble in a casino. And who could forget about those car washes? Are you simping again? So what did you think of the teaser? You looking forward to it as much as I am? Anyways, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and tell your friends.